I mean, I found the process of writing this commencement address a bit daunting. I was hoping to string together a few thoughts about what awaits you in the wider world when the real and unassailable truth is that no one knows anything. If you embrace what's happening instead of denying it, you can make it your own. If life gives you lemons, grab it by the horns and drive. And yes, I just mixed three metaphors. Pausing today and throughout your entire life allows you to take a breath. It allows you to take a beat. It allows you to be in the moment. Let life surprise you. Don't have a plan. Plans are for wusses. You know, if my life went according to my plan, I would never have the life I have today. Now, you're obviously very good planners, or you wouldn't be here, so stop it. Stop it now. Stay obsessed. That thing you can't stop thinking about, keep indulging it. Obsession is the better part of success. You will be great at the things that you can't not do. And get, give it all you've got every play of the game because you don't know what the big plays are until they're over. When you think you have the ball safely in the end zone, you're back to delivering pizzas for Domino's. Welcome to the NFL. I learned how to work hard. Like, bust my ass hard. There's a f there are few things that will get you over your own crap than working really, really hard. I want to fulfill the highest, truest expression of myself as a human being. Life is full of contradictions. If you want wealth, create value for others. If you want to fly, fall down often. If you want to be a winner, savor the lessons from loss. If you want to change the world, change yourself. You already know what I know. To get where you're going, you have to be good. And to, go to be good where you're going, you have to be damn good. Every once in a while, you'll succeed. Most of the time, you'll fail. And most of the time, the circumstances will be well beyond your control. We, we all feel at times a little bit lost, and we all uh, have some kind of emptiness that we're searching to fill. And often it is only through serving others that we find what's been missing in our own lives. You must find a way to serve. Martin Luther King said that not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is determined by service. Be kind, be kind to everyone. I can't stress this enough. I say this every chance I get. Don't ever forget that you're a citizen of this world and there are things you can do to lift the human spirit, things that are easy, things that are free, things that you can do every day. Civility, respect, kindness, character. People who want the best for you want you to be your best. So my greatest advice to you is to surround yourself with people who are going to fill your cup until your cup runneth over. So when people say you're so full of yourself, you can say, yeah. Pay attention. When you genuinely understand how the big picture works, you start being able to anticipate changes, adapt your behavior, adapt your output. You do this and you will simply do your job better and you'll make the job of everyone around you easier. Develop your own compass and trust it. Take risks, dare to fail. You are so schooled in critical thinking it almost hurts to look at you. The point of your education is to get you to poke holes in theories, to question, to be loath, to accept anything at face value. Yes, and may not roll trippingly off your tongue and into your life. Your job is to honestly discern for yourself if you're saying no to an opportunity out of fear or you're simply exercising good judgment. Now so don't accept somebody else's construction of the way things ought to be. It's up to you to right wrongs. It's up to you to point out injustice. It's up to you to hold the system accountable. It's invent the future. And with those three words comes a simple message, a, a call to chart your own course and live life on your own terms. How you live matters. 
You're gonna fall down, but the world doesn't care how many times you fall down as long as it's one fewer than the number of times you get back up. It's up to each of us to define ourselves. It's up to each of us to invent our own future with the choices we make and the actions we take. Have faith, my young friends, have faith. It ain't where you start in the life, it's where you end up and what you did along the way. We are a generation that will reclaim and rebuild broken societal institutions in response to a perceived threat to the nation's survival. We will ultimately rise up with social activism, collective confidence, civic engagement, and servant leadership. They say our main contributions will be revitalizing communities and advancing technology. They say that we may be the next great generation.